Let's talk about money. And this time we are at tip number three and we're going to talk about credit cards. You know, it's not what I'm going to say, but in the US, 80% of the people are in serious debt and we don't want you to be one of those people, right? So we need to get organized with our credit cards. So the first thing I'm going to say is try to keep max of two credit cards. Some people, some systems or financial advisors say just keep one, but I'll say keep two, it's okay. If you wanna keep earning points or miles, it's okay, but not more than two. Because sometimes, especially as women, sometimes we have way too many credit cards for different stores, which we don't need. That's why we start with the uh, monthly budget. Now we're going to start putting money towards those uh, credit cards, paying them down, until they're at zero balance. Now, you can't use them anymore, so you have to save them at home. And if you can't control yourself, I will say this, this is not just cut the car off because you, you will be saving a lot of money. Because the thing is that when we use a credit card, we don't think about it. We just slide the credit card and we're not really thinking about how much we're spending, okay? So let's try to keep max two. Now let's talk about the balance because that's one of the questions I get when people want to buy a house and they say, okay, how can I increase my credit? That's one of the tips I'm going to give you. Keep your balances at max 30%, okay? Now, try not to get credit cards above $5,000 because what happens if you get 10,000, 20,000, you're probably gonna max it out. So try to keep it 5,000. If 5,000 is too much, then lower it to 2,500, whatever's comfortable for you. But keep those balances low, spend 30% max, and then you can pay. Use your monthly budget to allocate money for your credit cards and pay them down. Keep max too. And let's stay in touch because I'm going to come back with the number four.